Greetings, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. We are currently continuing our Deep Space Carrier series. Uh, taking it... my ship turning. Taking our carrier way out into the black. Our current destination right now is just Cologne... Is my... Alright, hold on. Sorry. Our current destination is Colonia. Uh, it's a nice, safe destination to pick to bring our carrier out on its maiden voyage. Uh, but, you know, we're going to try to treat it as if we're out in deep space so I can kind of get into the loop for that. Uh, before we get too far into the video, I'd like to ask you to help us reach 10,000 subscribers by clicking that subscribe button. Bu yeah, that subscribe button. Uh, click the like button to help the video spread out to more people so that they have a chance to subscribe as well. And then we have over 1,600 videos of various different kinds, of various different games. Uh, available for your perusal, so be sure to head over to the channel once you're done watching this video and go find something else to watch. Uh, plenty of content there for you to enjoy, and it's organized into playlists. I think I might have said that already, uh, to make it easy to find whatever it is that you're looking for. So be sure to go and do that. Uh, I actually did want to... I'm sorry, I, I have to take a second and go look at my controls here. My controls here. Because... Uh, my joystick is my joystick feels overly sensitive. I'm not sure why. I think maybe it's it's really wanting to pull to the left. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It's my I I feel like there might be some kind of other control input that's interfering maybe I don't know or maybe my joystick's finally like actually dying now <laughs> that might that might also be a might might also be the problem the joystick might just finally be done done sir done completely done I don't know <laughs> uh, we're currently making our way to the next uh, destination for our weekly live stream carrier reposition which will be happening this Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure to uh, block out some time in your day for that on Sunday if you're interested in coming to hang out. Uh, as part of all of that, I am kind of hoping to get to the point, oops, I stayed a little too long in there. Uh, I am trying to hope, I, I am kind of hoping that we can come up with some events that we can start doing during those live streams to make them a little bit more interesting. Uh, events as in hopefully you guys come join the carrier journey with us and we do some cool stuff like maybe racing around the carrier or finding some canyons to go race in or things like that. I, I mentioned it in the last in the last video but it's going to require a little bit more than just some vague ideas for us to make that work so I want to kind of uh, put the put the call out there for all the viewers and anybody else who might be happening across these videos who might be interested in doing that to uh, not only come up with some ideas for things that we can do, but also just maybe take one or two of the ideas that I've thrown out there and actually flesh them out and help me kind of figure out how to actually make that work. Uh, I have a really interesting idea of, say, of something like a, uh, a galactic racing league or something like that, where maybe uh, our, my, my fleet carrier and any other fleet carriers who decide to join us as we just meander around the galaxy uh, becomes like a base of operations for a racing league where we find cool places to go race and because I mean, I'd be interested in doing some I'd be interested in doing some racing um, I think that this ship specifically would be really awesome at racing uh, it's very nimble and fast and uh, it would be really fun to kind of fling around some canyons or something figure out some interesting places to go and race people uh, I'm trying to somehow I ended up not filling up my tank in one of the previous one of the previous jumps I'm not sure how I ended up screwing that up but uh, yeah I mean we're still mostly during the week gonna be looking at exobiology uh, that's primarily what we're looking for but uh, if we could get some people who are interested in the whole racing idea then they could come and they could be going uh, it's gonna be Fonticula uh, they could be going out looking for cool places to race near wherever the carrier is. Uh, and then, you know, every, when, when, we go, when we hop on to do our weekly live stream, we move the carrier to wherever the race is going to happen. And then everybody can hop down there. We can do some racing and then finish out the live stream, moving our carrier to wherever the next, wherever the next place is that we're moving it to. 
So, you know, that's like a that's like a, a semi-fleshed out idea of something that we could do that would maybe even like kind of build a community around moving around the Elite Dangerous Galaxy. I think that would be kind of a cool thing to do. Uh, it would be something that would be really fun because we'd be racing. It would be competitive-ish. I mean, I don't want people to get too crazy about it. I'm not super competitive. But, uh, you know, racing is one of those things that I think a lot of people like. And it kind of sucks that they never really implemented something like that in this game. Uh, because I think racing would be a lot of fun. I know that there are, I've seen videos of people doing racing uh, where they kind of set up their own thing, but uh, yeah, if we could if we could get enough people along for the ride, for the journey throughout the galaxy, it can be a journey throughout the galaxy that has a racing league accompanying it. I think, I think that would be a really interesting thing to do. I think we might be... I think we might be uh, scooping just enough to uh, top off our tanks here. So to, I think we might be scooping just as much as we're using when we when we jump to the next system. Because I keep having to overheat myself to get anywhere. All right. So clearly, all right. Yeah, we got to do the we got to do the icy body or the gas giant first, and then it's all going to be moons. Any more? Doesn't look like it, so now we gotta find the other one. And that goes there, and then the rest of these are probably gonna be moons of the gas giant. Right? Uh, there's another icy body somewhere, but I don't know where it is, and we're not gonna waste time trying to figure it out. So let's go ahead and hop into the next area. <clears throat> um, it could be, and it, all, it, it doesn't have to be ship races too, we could do SRV races. Um, I think that would be equally as fun, especially because, you know, we could set up courses that force you to use your thrusters so you're not just on the ground. You have to actually go and hop over some canyons maybe or, um, you know, hop over some obstacles or, you know, there's, a, there's endless possibilities for, you know, various different race courses that we could discover along the way that would make it something that's super fun. And I think a lot of people would be interested in uh, trying to participate in something like that. So, um, you know, it's just an idea I'm throwing out there that if we can, A, get enough people that are interested in it in the first place to, B, start spreading that information out to then, C, get a lot of different people interested in coming in and actually joining us out, on, out in the galaxy. Um, you know, having a nice, convenient home base to that uh, where we can everybody can have their ships moved for them for the most part and they their ship gets delivered to a place where we're going to go do a race then we do the racing they dock their ship back and then they don't have to do anything else and the carrier moves them off to the next one so you know uh i think that would be something that's kind of cool that would make this game a little bit more interesting for everybody it would provide people, because I know a lot of people have, especially, there's several people in my Discord who have been saying that they're super bored with the game. They, they play it for a little bit and then they're done. I think that, you know, a racing event where we're racing other people, which, you know, provides some kind of social interaction. And then B, you know, because everything is procedurally generated, you're not going to get the same race course twice. It's, there, it's going to be a different race course every time we do it. And we could have different leagues where you have like small ships, uh, medium ships, the SRV League, if we wanted to do that, uh, and you could have both types. You could have the you could have the regular ex exploration SRV. We could have the Scorpion SRV. Um, you know, like there's a whole there's a whole slew of different ways we could make that work. So um, you know, I'm gonna keep throwing it out there in different videos because I think I think in my mind, anyways, a ra a Galactic Racing League sounds like something that could actually turn into something bigger than just a few people hanging out and doing some races. Uh, you know, especially if people have the convenience of I can just hop on a carrier and let the carrier take me there. And then, you know, once a week we hop on and do some racing. I, I, think, I think there's a lot of people who might be interested in doing that. So uh, we should talk about it. Try to make it a reality. Try to make it something that we actually do. We would need to have moderators, so there would be some people that don't actually race for every race because they have to watch and make sure nobody's cheating. <laughs> Something you would have to keep, we would have to keep in mind, make sure people aren't skipping out of canyons and stuff to try to try to take shortcuts and be ridiculous. But uh, you know, 
there, we could come up with a whole system of rules and controls and things like that that would make it all work the way it's supposed to work. Um, you know, with enough people putting, with enough people bringing their experience to bear on trying to figure out how to make it do what we want it to do, I think it would be a kind of cool thing to try to implement. And it would bring, it would bring another aspect to, you know, trying to get people interested. We could do, uh, we could do like mining racing. Uh, we could do like asteroid belt racing, but also mining racing. Like, uh, you know, people can bring their mining expertise to bear in a competitive way to say, hey, let's go, we're going to go to this hot spot and whoever is able to get the, whoever is able to uh, get the most of this or the most of that or whatever in X amount of minutes or time or whatever. Like, I'm, that, I have no idea if that's the best way to do that. I'm just saying it's an idea. It's, it's an idea for different different comp, comp, uh, competition things that we can come up with that would make it worth it for people to log in and play and come hang out with, you know, a group of people, get away from the bubble and go find and go find a reason to be out among the stars uh, in a way that's fun and exciting and not just the same old boring drum drum stuff every day, humdrum stuff every day. Um, so, you know, something like that. And, you know... Other ideas that people could come up with for things we could do out in the black. Um, you know, obviously these things could be done in the bubble. Yeah, I get that, but people don't do it. So, you know, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, if they're, if we can get enough people who are interested and they relocate their ships to the carrier, the fact that their ships are on the carrier and far away from the bubble might motivate them to actually hop on because. I, I, I've committed myself to this thing. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I don't know if people actually care about that. But, you know, I just think it would be kind of cool. Uh, given the fact that I, I, I have enough... I have several people who are making very strong statements about how they, they, they get bored really quick because there's nothing to do. And it's like, well, you got to create something to do. You got to, like... It's like Minecraft. You got to you gotta go and, like, create your own things to do. That's basically the way this game is so you know i'm putting it out there as hey that this is something that we could maybe try to figure out and make it something that we can create our own activities to do um encourage more people to come and participate because the more people we have participating in these like races or whatever other competitions we end up deciding we want to do uh the more fun it is because more people make more people always equals more fun when you're doing things that are social in nature. It's just kind of the way that it works. So, I don't know what else to say about that other than I'm just gonna keep talking about it until it's clear that nobody's interested or people start coming up with ideas and start trying to help me figure out ways to actually implement a plan. Uh, Cause you know, we have the fleet carrier. We have a couple of people with fleet carriers that seem to be along for the ride. So, you know. I mean, I know that doesn't really matter. I can have unlimited people on the fleet carrier. But my point is, is that we already have some people that have decided to come along for this trip out to Colonia because, you know, we just want to do something. If we can come up with some really cool, interesting, fun things to do that involve, you know, people interacting with each other. Because ultimately, you know, I think most of us like playing games by ourselves because we like to be able to just hop on and hop off whenever we're done. I, I, I generally prefer to play by myself. Um, but there is a lot of value in, there is a lot of value in, um, you know, doing social things with people in a way, so long as it's something that's fun and not overly, like, ridiculous. You know what I mean? You start to run into problems when it becomes, when the, when people get overly ridiculous with rules and processes and like, we want to, we want to, we want to, we want to organize this stuff, but we also don't want to make it like overly burdensome either, o overly burdensome, uh, either or whatever, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. Ooh, two biology on a what? Rocky body? Nope. If it was a high metal content planet, I would absolutely go to that. Cause that means we would be getting ourselves some stratum tectonicus. So my, my philosophy for what I'm going to go after when it comes to for exobiology on this trip is if we can find some, if it has, <laughs> excuse me, if it's a body that has, you know, say four or more 
bio biological sources on it. I may bump that down to three depending on reasons. But for the most part, if it's, you know, if it's a high diversity bi uh, body, we'll go after it. Uh, or if it's a high metal content planet with uh, two biological sources, that, that has an extremely high chance of actually being a, uh, a, a planet with uh, Stratum Tectonicus on it. And the further we go from the bubble, the more likely it becomes that we get a first footfall, which means that's 90 million credits. That's easy, easy money. So, yeah. Uh, that's the other part of the competition, I guess. You know, there would have to be some kind of a reward system. And I guess it would have to be something along the lines of everybody puts up a little bit of something. And then whoever wins, it, you know, do it like poker. Everybody, everybody puts into the pot, and whoever and winner takes the pot, or something like that. Like I don't, I don't think people would be too interested if there's no stakes. I know there's a lot of people that just won't play game, won't play do com competitions like that unless there's like a reason to. So that's something we could think about. You know, you put in a a relatively substantial amount of credits or something, but there's no way to. Is there a way to trade credits? We could probably figure out a way to use the fleet carry to do that if there's no way to actually send credits to people. If you can, I mean, I guess I could look that up and see if that's a thing. Um, you know, I, I guess I could be the arbiter of the credits and people pay me their, people could pay me their entry fee and then whoever wins, I send the total amount to them. Um, that'd be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Uh, and if not, then uh, we could do something along the lines of, um, I don't know. I don't know how we would do that. We could probably use the commodity market on the carrier in some fashion. But I don't, I mean, I guess I could just look it up here in a second. Let me, uh, let me get, let me get this done. Let me get this done. Let me get my fuel scooping done. And then I'll open a browser window and look it up. Because I'm sure the internet will tell me. Can you, can you trade credits? Can you just send somebody credits? So, that said, let me disable the over thing here. Uh, elite, dangerous, send credits. Can you send credits? Is there a way of giving credits to, according to the game's mechanic, it is not possible to directly send credits to other players. The game's developers have implemented measures to prevent credit transfer to avoid gold farming and things like that, which makes sense, but, you know, yeah, that kind of sucks. But that makes, so yeah, we could probably try to figure out a way to use the fleet carrier's commodity market to try to do that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the best... I mean, and that's another reason. Uh, this is how I come up with ideas. Um, I will come up with an idea, and then I'll start thinking about different possibilities, and then I'll research something, and I'll find out, oh, you can't do that, so let's find a, let's find out a way around that. And then eventually, I, you know, down the road, I have some kind of a polished idea that actually makes sense. So, you know, I say things and things will change over time as I realize, oh, that doesn't make sense, or there's a better way, or what... This is just single biology, and it's an icy body, so we're not messing around with that. Um, so, you know, something like that. I, I don't really know. We, we could come up with something... Um, we could come up with something... If we could do... If we could do... Um, so what I'm... The, the vague idea I have in my head right now is, is if we can get enough people that can come out and do some serious tritium mining, right? Then we could stock tritium or, or some cheap material, stock some kind of cheap material in the, in the carrier commodity market. And then I could just set the price of it uh, in a way that make we could manipulate the market for that so I can set the price in a way that makes it so that you put in you're able to get you're able to get you're able to transfer credits that way you know what I mean like selling something cheap or I don't know buying something cheap for a lot of credits that will give me the credits and then I could sell it for I don't know how I would do that I don't know. I'm sure there's a, a way that we could manipulate the uh, the, sh the onboard commodity market to make it so that people put in a lot of credits and then I'm able to give back a lot of credits. 
So maybe I, maybe I buy thing. Maybe the commodity market buys things for a lot of money, and then, but no, that doesn't work either. Like I have to have to have a way of getting the credits to people. So I, I don't know. Uh, somebody smarter than me, tell me how that works. Like, what do I need to do? What do we need to do with the commodity market? Or is there another method of making it so that people can get? you know, some kind of a credit transfer method out of this and make it work right. I'm, I'm sure there's a way to, I'm sure there's a way to do it. And I'm sure it probably involves using the commodity market in some fashion to buy for the, the carrier buys at one price and then does something to, I don't know. Because obviously I'm not, we don't want to sell anybody product, right? Like. We have to figure out a way to get them credits. So that would involve me buying something from them to give them credits. So I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work. So, and then the problem is, is that if all I'm ever doing is buying stuff, that's going to fill up the carrier inventory, and eventually we'll run out of the ability to do that. But if it's a super cheap resource and I have the ability to destroy that resource, then that could work. That could work. So we would have to figure out a way to get the funds into the carrier. We'd have to figure out a way to get the funds into the carrier and then figure out a way for people to sell me to sell me to to sell me a whatever cheap super easy cheap product that's you know we can get in abundance i can put a buy order in for some exorbitant amount so that we can transfer the money that way like that's the i think it said one body in the system uh so i think that's kind of the vague i, I think i'm moving in the right direction but i'm not sure uh i like to do these these thought processes on camera like this because it helps to a spark your your ingenuity, and B if somebody else already has an idea, then they can point out the flaws in what I'm saying, or maybe at what I say gets you get somebody else moving down the right track to kind of help figure it out. I I have to imagine that the ultimate end state of it is going to be somebody gives me a product and I I massively overpay for it so that they get the credits out of that. Um, I'm not sure what material that would be. We would have to come up with some kind of standardized unit that's super easy to get that doesn't take very long at all to grab i mean if it's tritium that's great because i can use the tritium I, I imagine that'll probably be our medium of exchange so we could have you know we could have miners go out and we could have miners go out and get a bunch of tritium uh and then but how will we get people so so the other part of that is going to be getting money into the carrier which is we have to figure out a way to get have people get their entry fees in which would involve buying something from me i think but i can set the price to whatever i want so as long as everybody has a cargo hold i could sell tritium for the entry fee whatever the entry fee is going to be they just have the one tritium in their thing, in their cargo hold. They just carry that with them during the during whatever event that we're doing. And then when they come back, um, when they come back, that would work. Because my, my vague thought right now is, is that we would have to figure out a way of transferring all of the tritium, all, all of whatever, whatever currency that we're going to be using. We'd have to figure out a way of transferring that to the person which means they would have to have enough cargo space to be able to pick all that up. So I'm sure that there's a way we can make it work. I'm sure that there's a way we could figure out making that work. Or if you guys know of another way to move credits around between people that actually that's more streamlined than that. I'm not aware of it, which is why I'm assuming the commodity market's probably the way to go. But, you know, this is, this is another reason why I put it out there like this so that someone else can tell me, hey, there's this other thing you can do. And we can, we can just do that. But ideally, you know, if there is no other way and we have to use the commodity market to make it work, um, obviously the carrier 
the carrier purchasing whatever currency, whatever, you know, non-standard currency that we're going to use as our transfer medium would get the winner their credits for winning for winning the race. We just have to figure out a way of figuring out some kind of figuring out how that currency is going to work. Because I would imagine it would be something that's going to end up taking inventory space. I would imagine it's something that's going to take inventory space. Unless we can use the bar. Does the bar... Does the bar stock inventory? I think it does. And I think I can actually set prices for that stuff. And I don't know that you... Ne and I don't think that any of that stuff actually takes up any kind of ship inventory so if we set it up so that for you to enter the race you have to buy you have to buy this specific item from the <coughs> from the bar and we set it for the in and I set the price for the entry fee for whatever event that we're doing and then when we're done with the event whoever wins uh, but even then are you able to transfer those materials between players because we would have to get it, we would have to set it up in a way that made it so that we have to set it up in a way. I don't know. I think I'm probably just going in circles here. I think I'm just going in circles because I'm, you know, how do we get the, how do we get whatever item that we have? Is there an easy way to transfer that to one player? Have to do uh, like a bunch of different individual transfers. That's a pain in the butt. That would be a real that would be a real pain in the butt, because the only way to make it convenient would be so would be to do it in a way that allows me every that allows everybody to have one you have one person who's coordinating everything and he's the one who does he or she is the one who does all the the transfers, right? And then the winner the winner just has one transfer with whoever the coordinator is. That's the way it should work. That's the efficient way of making it work and the least annoying way of making it work. But I'm not sure how we would do that. So, not really finding much in the way of biology. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we would. I'm not sure how we would do that. My intuition tells me that there is an efficient way of doing it. Because here's the pro here's the problem. What I have, I mean, I guess I guess um, depending on what the rewards are going to be, you have to make the reward big enough to entice people to want to do it. Like we need to make it something where people people can make a decent amount of credits, and you know, make it worth their time to actually do that. Outside of just hey, we're having a fun race, and you know. So if we're gonna if we're gonna try to come up with a reward system, then you know it needs to be a substantial amount of credits. That's kind of my point. Uh, I don't know what that number should be. Um, obviously, we don't want we don't want to make up a system where people are able to make billions of credits in a short period of time. That's not a good, that's not a good system. So we don't want to make it too much. But at the same time, what I'm, here's here's my base concern. I don't want to have to be the one footing the bill for all of these things. I want people to put in an entry fee, and then they whoever wins, they get all the entry fees. And that's how I want that to go. I don't want to be the one paying for the races. That's the kind of what I'm getting to. So that's why I'm like really focused on trying to figure out how to make uh, how to how to get a, a transfer system set up. But I don't know. I have to think about it a little bit more. I have to think about it a little bit more. I'm sure that I'm sure that there is a solution. I'm just not sure what that solution is. But we do need to go ahead and end this episode. Hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button and spread the video out to more people. Subscribe to the channel to help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Join the channel as a member if you'd like access to perks such as early access to videos. Or was that a high metal content? That's going to be... I'm going to go land on there after I'm done here. Just to see. Because I want to land and I don't want to... Is that a water world? Is that a water world? Oh. Okay. Uh, I'll go scan these things off camera. <clears throat> um, join the channel as a member for early access to videos, among other perks, or you can just leave YouTube's version of a tip with the thanks button. So again, thank you very much for your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Elite Dangerous Deep Space Carrier. Be sure to come back for the next one. I'll see you then.